This video will introduce you to one of the new features in the upcoming Java 8 release called Compact Profiles. Now, Compact Profiles is all about saving space. In a nutshell, it provides you, in a controlled fashion, controlled being the important word here, a way to deploy a subset of the Java runtime environment along with your application, thus saving a lot of space. Now, the benefits of doing something like this are many. Think about how helpful this will be in a, in a device environment where the resource constraints are pretty extreme. Now, in order to get a feel for the space savings that can be realized by Compact Profiles, let's first take a look at two baseline platforms to see what the standard footprint for Java runtime environment is today. Today being August, early August 2013. First off, let's get an idea of how large the Java runtime environment is on a standard Linux desktop. In this case, we're using a version of Ubuntu 12.04 on a laptop. We can verify that indeed we're running the latest version of Java. Uh, as of the filming of this video, uh, it is Java 7 update 25. And um, the GRE itself resides in the particular directory we're at. So if we just issue a du-sk on the JRE directory, we'll get a feel for how big that file is, that directory is. Um, du-sk provides in 1k blocks the size of a directory. In this case, it's 139,000, which equates to roughly 140 megabytes. So that's the size of a standard downloadable Java runtime environment for Linux x86. Let's contrast that now with one of our Java SE embedded offerings. So there are a series of binaries available for some of the most popular embedded platforms. What you're show, we're showing you now is an SSH window into an ARM Linux-based device running the ARM v5 TEL architecture. And in this case, we have a version of Java SE embedded running here. We'll confirm that by doing a Java minus version again. And you see that we're running a version of Java 7 update 21. That is the latest version for this particular platform. Uh, quite similar to, but not identical to the platform on the x86 uh, machine. And again, let's do a, uh, a du-sk to get a feel for how large the Java runtime is for this device. And you'll notice that this time it returns 44,000 1K blocks or roughly 44 or 45 megabytes, a substantial decrease in size for the embedded platform. So you can see that we have done a lot of work to shrink down um, the runtime in an embedded environment. And uh, what we want to do now is demonstrate on this platform how Compact Profiles further makes this even smaller. Before continuing a little background as an order, Java has been around for nearly 20 years now, starting from humble beginnings, and over that time has uh, morphed into a rather substantial platform as evidenced by the size of the footprint in our x86 Linux uh, depth desktop, uh, and has unfortunately been developed in a monolithic fashion during that time. The image you see in front of you is a high level, a high level depiction of the dependencies between the major functional units of the JDK. If we were to go one step one level below this, at the package level or even lower, the number of dependencies, the number of edges on this graph would be so numerous that you'd probably see nothing more than a black blob on the screen. So clearly this has been an issue with the Java developers for a long time. The end result is they've created a project called Jigsaw. Uh, it's been underway for a while and will continue to be underway. And one of its stated goals is to provide a, a more modular Java platform. The end result being something more like this, a series of well-defined modules with a finite number of uh, uh, dependencies among those modules. Now, when this is fully complete, the idea is you'd be able to create a Java application, run a tool over the application, and it will determine what modules are required for your application and, and ultimately package all that up together, a much smaller version of the application with just the runtime that is needed. It turns out that the full implementation of Jigsaw ended up being a lot more complicated than originally anticipated. And one of the reasons for its full deployment delay until Java 9 is the fact that uh, 
this re-architecture also has to maintain backwards compatibility with the near two decades development of Java applications by millions of developers upon billions of lines of code. But that being said, some of this functionality has found its way into Java 8, enabling an interim solution to be made available in the form of compact profiles. And what compact profiles will do is define a well-known set, a well-known subset of the JRE composing a certain number of these uh, uh, modules together. To give you an example, Compact 1 involves the base class, all of them involve the base class, and a few of what are deemed critical uh, components. And this gives you quite a bit of functionality, as we'll show later on in the demonstration. Um, if you want a little bit more functionality, you can opt for Compact 2, which um, adds on things like database access via JDBC, uh, XML processing with XP, RMI, remote method invocation, and uh, you know, in order to get that, you have to add on a couple more megabytes to the to the footprint. And furthermore, Compact 3 gives yet additional functionality at the expense of again a few more megabytes. Of course, if you want the entire JRE, you are still free to use that within this scenario. Returning back to our desktop. Let's see how we can generate compact profile builds for a Linux ARM platform. What you see in front of you highlighted is a version of Java 8 specifically for the Linux ARM platform. Now, we are actually on a Linux x86 desktop, but we can utilize the tools available in this because uh, they happen to be shell scripts. So let's go ahead to the EJDK8 directory and take a look at the bin subdirector underneath there and you'll see that there are both uh, jrecreate.batch files and jrecreate.sh files uh, to enable you to generate either on a Windows or a Linux platform the specific compact profiles that you want to use. This early access build of Java 8 for Linux ARM is available to Oracle Partner Network OPN Gold members. Now we'll demonstrate how a compact profile instance can be created via invocation of the JRE create shell script. So what we'll do now is uh, issue a typical instance of that command with a few arguments and a description of the command line arguments are as follows. There are additional ones that you can add, but the dest argument specifies where in what directory and what name of the directory the compact profile will end up residing in. In this case, we're going to call it compact1-minimal. Um, it is based upon the profile argument, in this case, compact1. And one of the optional arguments called VM. Now, you have a couple of, of choices here. You can choose the minimal VM, a client VM, and in some cases, the server VM. Each one of them has different capabilities and different sizes, the minimal being the smallest we sacrifice uh, some features from the client VM like serviceability, uh, a single use garbage collector, and, and things like that. But what we'll do as we go on is uh, generate a few versions of these to give you a feel for the difference in size and capability. So we've just hit return and are now executing this command. It takes on the order of 20 seconds on a modest laptop. In this case, it's a Core 2 Duo, so clearly there are, are newer, faster ones, which will get you even better time. And if we were to do this on the Linux ARM system, it would be somewhere around 8 to 10 times slower, thus we do it here for demonstration purposes. So the uh, JRE is now complete. It is built, and you'll see that the approximate JRE size is a little bit more than 10 megabytes, between 10 and 11 megabytes. And you can see that the Compact1 minimal directory has been created with that um, functionality. For our next example, we'll go ahead and issue the same command but change a few arguments to give you a feel for how they differ in size and capability. So this time we're going to call uh, the destination directory compact client and we'll uh, specify that the VM option is client also to see what happens. And again, this takes around 20 seconds to generate. Uh, it will create a compact one client subdirectory, uh, and then we can get a feel for how the difference in size affects the build. 
So this is complete, and you see now that there are, in fact, two different directories. The target JRE size for this minimal one is about 13 and a half megabytes. So uh, the additional functionality of providing a more robust VM with serviceability is on the order of three megabytes. So you need to make a decision whether it makes sense to have those additional three megabytes uh, when you ultimately deploy. We've gone through the uh, additional step of creating other compact profiles to give you an idea of the difference in size. Uh, they're listed in this directory now. And we can do a du-sk and all those compact profiles to give you an idea of how they differ in size. So the largest one is as big as 21 megabytes, the smallest being a little bit more than uh, 10. And uh, again, you have the option of choosing any one of these. So what we'll do now is zip all these up and uh, ship them over to our ARM uh, device and try to run one or two of them. Returning to our Linux ARM device, having behind the scenes brought over the compact profiles generated earlier, um, let's go ahead and see if in fact these things work. So let's choose one in particular, compact one minimal profile, and uh, run a Java minus version on it. And you see it comes back with, an, with a version number, 1.0, 1.8.0 early access. It is a compact one profile and it is using the minimal VM. Now what we'd like to do is see how functional this is by running an important application like an OSGI framework. So what we've done is we've untarred uh, the Apache Felix framework and we'll now go ahead and start that up using the compact one profile uh, VM. And what you'll see is that in fact it does start up quite nicely. Um, now, the Apache framework only really requires this zero system bundle, but uh, by default it adds a couple of addition bundles so you can interact via a shell with this. What I'd like to do now is install additional functionality to show that the compact profile really can support quite a few things. So I'm going to issue a couple of uh, start commands which will install additional bundles. And in particular, these guys um, add HTTP, servlet, and web management ca capability. So now we should be able to access on the device the OSGI framework from a web interface, and let's do that now. So there you have it, uh, a series of bundles being managed via the web on top of a Linux device, a Linux ARM device, using only the compact one profile. Now let's go ahead and use this interface to go ahead and try to install yet another package and see what happens. So I happen to know where the bundles exist so I'm going to search for them and let's try to add this config admin bundle onto uh, Apache Felix. And We'll go ahead and install it now. Ah, And what you see happens is we get a Java no class to found error and in particular, you notice that it is associated with RMI. Um, recall earlier that I had mentioned that the Compact 2 profile is the one that contains RMI capability. So perhaps in this case, what we need to do is start up OSGI with Compact 2 rather than Compact 1. So let's go do that. Returning to our framework, you can see the exception error by because the class file couldn't be found here. So we're going to stop the bundle which uh, stops OSGI. We'll start it up again this time using the Compact 2 rather than the Compact 1 profile and see if we can install that package now. So that is started. Let's go back to our web console and we'll reinstall our config admin. In fact, now you'll find that the configura configuration admin service is available, and here's some information about it. So this demonstration shows that, in fact, the Compact Profile is very capable, and if you really need to provide a little bit additional functionality, you can use uh, one of the larger bundles, in this case Compact 2, and incidentally, the combination of Compact 2 with um, Apache with with these seven or eight or nine bundles still has a footprint of less than 20 megabytes. This concludes the compact profile video.